Hey guys, what's up, welcome back to another video. In this video, guys, a spoiler free review of Netflix's movie, The Power of the Dog. A domineering rancher responds with mocking cruelty when his brother brings home a new wife and her son until the unexpected comes to a pass. But yeah, I'm gonna be honest, guys. I was not expecting much in this movie and it really did surprise me in a good way. Before I get into it, if you guys are new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn notifications on so you don't miss out on any more reviews, reactions, and more videos like that. Also, before we get into it, this movie, Power of the Dog, comes out November 17th in theaters and December 1st on Netflix. So don't miss out on it because personally, I think it's actually pretty good. But yeah, now I wanna talk about what I thought was so good about this movie and primarily it's the performances. I think this is Benedict Cumberbatch is one of, one of his best performances, to be honest. Uh, I just think his character is so layered and I think it actually works really well in the story because I'm gonna be honest, this movie truly reminds me of like Red Dead Redemption, but in movie form. Like the world is just so rich and detailed and it's just, it, it's actually really, it was surprising to me how well they built up this, like this such a small world and, and, and every character feels like they're super important. Again, I feel like there were a few characters that should have been more front and center because they were a lot more interesting and a lot of people might think that they were downplayed for a reason. For example, I think Kristen Dunst's character, she was actually really good. Not only the performance from Dunst, but her character was really interesting and I wish we got more time with her. But nevertheless, I wanna go back to Benedict Cumberbatch's performance. His performance was really good. I loved what he did here. Uh, it, it was just super gritty and I, I really liked that. Um, it was also kind of scary how like real his performance was and it really just frightened me sometimes because of the, the consequences of his actions. And you can see they don't directly affect him but they affect him over time and he kind of realizes all the wrongs he's done. And overall by the end of the story, it's just really surprising. I wasn't expecting this movie to be as good as it was. I don't think this is, I don't think this is like one of the best movies of the year. Year, but I think it's a really good movie and the the main reason again is their performances but there's also some other reasons here I quickly want to stay on the performances though because Jesse Plemons is also in this movie he's he's a really good actor and he was a side role in this movie he was still really really good in my opinion I will say that I wish again his character was utilized more but just the way they utilized Benedict Cumberbatch's character he's a main character I just really like the way they use it and that it kind of makes up for the lack of other characters like obviously you want a good supporting cast you want a good set of people around the main character but the main character is just so good here that I think it works. I will say Cumberbatch's performance surprised me mainly because I never really like at first I was like okay this, I cannot see this man playing like a cowboy like a western dude like I just can't see it when I first watched the, when I first started the movie I was like okay this still isn't clicking for me but after a certain point it just became normal and then it felt weird for him to talk in any other accent because I was just so ingrained in this character and I really love what they do with this character. Character wise I also think it's really important just to mention this layered story. Again I'm not going to get into detail because I don't want to spoil it for you guys but like I said before the way that this story builds up in the beginning tones down a little bit and I think it does go on a dry spell in the middle a little bit here. It, it, it is an issue with a lot of Netflix movies in my opinion where it's like the beginning's super interesting there's a lot of fast paced stuff. The middle is just sometimes it just gets really lackluster and boring and that was a primary factor of this movie. It's just the middle just it, it was it was it couldn't have gotten any slower really and but I do think the ending made up for it. I think there's a good resolution. I think there's good twists in the story and I think overall it's a great movie. It's just like the middle was just dry. It was not not that interesting the characterization really carried it and i think that's where i'm gonna stop talking about the story because i don't want to spoil it for you guys but just know the middle it gets really dry if you don't like slow movies i wouldn't really recommend this one but it's kind of like the red dead redemption game how i compared it before it's like it's a very slow burn but at the end i do think it's worth it i want to talk about a theme of this movie not necessarily a layer of the story but i think the biggest thing this movie is obviously just toxic masculinity you know there's this waiter character i forgot his name but he was actually that the guy who played him was actually really good but it's Kristen Dunst's son I think and the way that his character is used in the beginning of this movie is just uh, it's just absurdly well like the the dynamic between Benedict Cumberbatch and this waiter character is just so good and I don't think it could have gotten any better than that um I think the dynamic between Benedict Cumberbatch's character and this waiter character it really expresses the tox toxic masculinity that this movie is trying to convey but now for my final score of the power of the dog overall I think this movie was actually pretty good I don't I don't think it's one of the best of the year but the performances definitely carry it though it does go on a pretty big dry spell in the middle it's still a good and layered story overall i'd have to give this one a solid eight out of ten i would definitely recommend checking this one out if you are a fan of slower western movies it does come
come out November 17th in theaters and exclusively on Netflix on December 1st. But yeah, guys, that's it for this video. If you guys have already seen The Power of the Dog, let me know what you thought of it in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.